And good morning, church, and good morning, children. This morning, we're going to be looking at another parable. And this time, it's going to be a parable that Jesus taught us. That all, all the parables are, are parables that Jesus taught us to teach us important lessons about the kingdom of God. But this morning, our parable is the parable of the wise and foolish man. So, our scripture is Matthew 7, 24 to 27, and it says, everyone who hears my teaching and applies it to his life can be compared to a wise man who built his house on an unshakable foundation. And when the rains fell and the flood came with fierce winds beating upon his house, it stood firm because of its strong foundation. But everyone who hears my teaching and does not apply it to his life can be compared to a foolish man who built his house on sand. And when it rained and the flood came and the wind and the waves beat upon the house, it collapsed and it was swept away. So think about what a rock is like. Because it says that Jesus said in the parable that the wise man built his house on a rock. What does it feel like? Well, it's very strong and sturdy. And Jesus is like a rock. When we have Jesus in our lives, it is like we are standing on a rock. We're not going to fall down when Jesus is holding us up. We have to trust in Jesus every day. Well, what does sand like, Gabby? Yeah. Well, it's kind of squishy and it moves about a lot when you walk on it. And the world is like sand. And when we build our lives on whatever we want, but not on Jesus, it's like sand standing on sand. And when life is hard, the sand we are standing on gets squishy and we will fall down. Without Jesus, we all fall down. So, we thought, should we sing a song together? Something that I sang a long, long time ago, but it still rings true for today. So the song that we've got is The Wise Man Built His House Upon a Rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock, house upon a rock, house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock and the rain came tumbling down. And the rain came down and the floods went up. The rain came down and the floods went up. The rain came down and the floods went up. And the house on the rock stood firm. That's good. Now the foolish man, he built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rain came tumbling down. And the rain came down and the floods went up. The rain came down and the floods went up. The rain came down and the floods went up. And the house on the, the foolish man's house went flat like that. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. Build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. Build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ and the blessings will come down. Now the blessings come down as your prayers go up. The blessings come down as your prayers go up. The blessings come down as your prayers go up. So build your house on the Lord. Jesus is my rock. 
I hope you joined in. I hope I wasn't singing by myself. <laughs> well, I'm sure you joined in. So, in any case, how can we build our life? How can we build my life? How can I build my life? How can Gabby build her life on the rock? So, how can you build your life upon Jesus, our rock, and actually become a wise girl or boy? Okay. Well, wisdom is doing what is right before the Lord. And if we believe in Jesus, then we will want to know more about him and we'll want to build our lives on him. So how can we do that? I wrote down a few things. So I said, let's go. I said, by loving God. And praying. Yeah. What else? Listening and obeying your parents and our leaders, do you think? Maybe? I think so. Uh, reading and remembering the Bible, which is God's word. And like we spoke about last week, using our talents that God gave us. So anything else? So I'd like you today, you can draw your own thought bubble and you write down whatever it is that you hear God say to you of how you can become a wise boy or girl. So please share whatever you come up with by asking your parents to direct message us on Facebook. That will be great. And then everyone can know and everyone can share. Last week, I had a message from Indu Priya um, who shared something with me. Um, I don't know if anyone else got a chance to see it, but I saw it. I saw a bag of her many talents um, and she is one super talented lady. So I'd encourage you, if you haven't done the activity from last week, kids or adults, then please do it. Because as the message is, you know, we all have talents and we all have things that we can share. And that's what we should be doing. So I'm just going to wrap up by praying and saying thank you to our Lord. So dear Father, help us all to trust you and choose to build our lives on Jesus, our rock. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen.